You haven't found your way here by accident. It's a unique and meaningful connection meant to deliver the impactful message of Apostle Joshua Selman to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also inspire you for greatness. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the richness of this transformative message. Before we delve further, I extend a warm invitation for you to actively engage with this significant message. Join in by liking the video, sharing it with those in your circles who might find it beneficial, and subscribing to our channel for a consistent flow of insightful content. Your support is genuinely appreciated and plays a crucial role in our ability to continue sharing these meaningful messages. As you tune in to absorb this... Don't act like you can do without men. They are that important. Jesus needed them. He even said in the multitude of men is a king's honor. Look at all the wonderful people today who have made the world know about Koinonia, who have made the world know about Joshua Selman. What if they were not born? All of the churches that extended warm invites to have brought us to a point of visibility. What if they were not born? What if they did not answer the call? Today in my own little way and with all humility, I look at the so many who have come to Jesus, including those who will be coming tonight. What if we were not born? Listen to me. You are that important. You are that important. My brother, my sister, I know that your dad and your mom forgive them that they call you a black sheep. They were just expressing anger and frustration. Don't take it serious. Black sheep don't learn what you are learning. Are we together? Can I tell you, in this place are the global financiers of Koinonia in the making. Apostles to the billions. People who will send resources and say, let's go to the nations. In this place are other apostles and prophets greater than Joshua Selman's rising. It is true. I'm praying for someone. You may be gifted, but the anointing that needs to come on your gift to now start bringing you rewards. I'm praying from this night, let that anointing rest on your gift. Shout a believers, amen. Let the anointing rest upon your gift. Let the anointing rest upon your gift. What do you do when you find your gifting? Identify it, refine it, and serve. Identify it, refine it, and serve. One last time. Identify it, refine it, or develop it, and serve. You serve with it. You serve with it. You serve with it. Hallelujah. Every time you serve with the gifting God has given you, there is someone at the end who is looking at you, who needs you, and will be willing to call you. Apostle, I didn't have the opportunity to be born by rich parents. All I have is just the ability to sow. When the hand of God rests upon that, and you will now begin to sow for kings, they will call you and say, where did you learn this from? And you will tell them it's by the hand of God. Most people have no idea that greatness is a burden. Many times when God does not bring it to a life of an individual, it is not him, it is not wickedness. It is his mercy looking at you and say, let me not wreck this fragile destiny that is not yet fortified with knowledge. And so he withholds certain things to let you grow. Every mantle has the battle that confronts it. You want to be CEO in Africa? Are you ready to stand the attacks and the charms and the wizardry and the witchcraft that follows greatness? I want to go into oil and gas. Congratulations. Are you ready for the biases that go through that sector? I want to be a politician. Do you know what it means to live every day with threats for the rest of your political career? Someone is eyeing you and vowing if you are alive by next week. And yet you have to smile through the storms. Can I tell you, the great deserve your applause. Hallelujah. I remember many years as a man of God, many years ago, um, I, I, I really had 
problems I'm, you know I'm, I'm one person who doesn't like trouble at all I want to make sure I call everybody respond to everybody do everything to everybody and it was wearing me out I didn't have time for myself people would call me 12 1 a.m. and you know express their disappointment that I'm resting you know and sometimes they try to bully you by saying great men you know they are praying through the night what you know and so on and so forth and at a point in time I had to obtain grace from God to be delivered by him so that I don't become a victim of all these things but I can tell you greatness comes at a cost I remember a gentleman who I think he he lost some, I, don't, I don't know which of the relatives and for more than one month that gentleman kept sending me text messages apostle I will not let you rest until you give me an answer as to why this kind of thing happened to my family I agree that I'm not close to God but I know you are close to God ask him for me and he meant it now I know you can laugh at the gentleman until you go through something that wrecks your destiny and puts and almost a full stop attacks and persecution for as long as you are not great your watch is okay for as long as you are not great a man of God says nobody researches failure people only research success when you fail nobody will go and check and say I need to find out why you are failed except you succeed then you find all kinds of things the moment you succeed something is wrong with your watch It's supposed to be worn well something is wrong with your trouser you didn't you know hold it well something is everything is wrong with the great it is the burden of greatness are you learning something very very important attacks and persecution Jesus himself said that in this life you will receive cars and houses and etc with persecution with persecution I'm telling you this because you see the truths that you are hearing from many of you will lift you above the current realms of success you are experiencing and for many others will bring you into that realm but as soon as you are done celebrating the glory and the grace of god in that realm you must be taught the ethics of remaining it's a very delicate realm it's a realm that can wreck you emotionally have you not heard of great people who committed suicide why should a billionaire commit suicide with all the money there why should someone holding a great position remember when the people were arguing and were insulting moses are you the only one god will speak to we want to hear him too moses went to god and said these people will worry me and god said all right let me speak to them separate yourselves rule number one for what that's the condition to hear him after three days they were angrily waiting at the mountain and then he came in cloud and fire and thund thundered into their brains and their stubborn heads as soon as that happened do you know what they said listen listen they said god don't ever talk to us again from today talk to moses we will believe him but if that did not happen many of them would not believe that god's not talking to them was an act of his mercy they didn't have the capacity to hear his voice and see the fire the flame of his glory they would not listen attacks and persecution maybe it is already happening to some of us now in your place of work maybe it is about to happen to some of us right now you had a vision of the next level congratulations next level will always come with challenges the moment you are great something is wrong with your children the moment you are great, something is wrong with you. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. So number one factor that is responsible for the weakness and the weariness of believers is the difference of hope. Disappointed expectations. 
number two persecutions can i tell you jesus who was the son of the living god for as long as he was a young boy he could freely enter the temple and learn with the scribes and pharisees nobody had a problem with him but the day the holy ghost landed on his head and the voice said this is my beloved son hear ye him he returned in the power of the holy spirit and the bible says his fame went abroad there was a group of people who said look this young boy there is something wrong with this gentleman something is wrong the whole city is already beginning to hear your voice and they started finding an occasion and because jesus was a man they found it they found an occasion remember when they were before herod all kinds of troubles this guy said he would destroy the temple that took us decades and build it in three days he was talking about the temple of his body nobody asked him what were you really talking about that was not their business it was an occasion one day someone will come and stand before your pharmacy and see it as big as this auditorium and say investigate the life of these people i know them there is nowhere who would have given you one billion naira you are a thief i will not rest until we dig into this welcome to the world of men one day your father will win an election or your uncle or your mother and you will be surprised the new name you will be called you will think it will be a name of honor and glory until they call you a fraudster you they catch you in 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 a kfc buying food of five thousand they will insult your father for it how you afforded five thousand how about a preacher for as long as you are small and not doing anything and not making any impact that's all right nobody has that time but may god begin to honor you and grant you grace and then you see all kinds of things how about business people someone calls you today i'm in uk someone calls you tomorrow you're in us must you say it but that's where you are should you lie just say i'm not available why must you say i'm in us we must you draw me that you see and from the sincerity of your heart welcome to the world of men you stand in the midst of people and you have your watch or your shirt that is God is showing his faithfulness to you. You are in trouble for that. Even if it's a burial, while you are standing there, you would think that people are just crying, only remembered for what we have done. People are watching you. And as soon as that burial is done, they will tear you the way you pieces, you know, protein meat in, in, in the kitchen. Do you have the stamina? Can I tell you this? Jesus got to a point where he was fed up with all the things they were doing. And when he knew that there was still more left dear people let me tell you this if it is the glory of God you are going to carry in your life you must sustain the strength you will go to God is speaking to someone you have not carried this consciousness of why you are here and you are just getting old do you know in my opinion you really do not have the legitimacy to elaborately celebrate birthdays till you discover why you were born not that you were born many visionary people waste money celebrating birthdays and they jump around with no definition as to why they are here and God has given you the gift of time I told you that when you are celebrating birthdays don't celebrate your current age you are celebrating the days left not the days you have spent you are celebrating the days left that means if you are x years old and it's god's desire that you live say up to 80 and let's say for instance you are 40 you have not just covered you are halfway your journey whether you like it or not don't just celebrate the past 40 years be thankful but look at the next 40 years what can i do the infancy of this ministry we used to train people three days to your birthday you go for a retreat it's a culture that many still have till today three days or one week to your birthday you don't get up and buy any cake or kill any chicken until you are out of your retreat to flog it out with destiny asking questions lord at this juncture what should i do what is the next step to take listen if your birthday is this month or around the corner adopt i am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings
lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God, we extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts, and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.